Blessed morning, collective. How's it going? How's it feeling on this fine, beautiful day? Fairly placid uh, for my experience. However, there is definitely stuff brewing, stuff happening. There's a significant increase in the anxiety energy that has been around and will remain around. It's sort of influx. Emotional overwhelm. I mean, it's the same shit. It's the same energy. It's just moving in cycles and it's reflected pretty clearly in the weather. I learned yesterday that Southern California, which is where I was born, is expecting in the desert area to get more rain in two days than they normally get in six years. And it's gonna flood. It's, it's just a flood of emotion. Water is feeling, certainly, and it's been built up and built up and built up. We have this desert, this darth, right? This gap in emotional expression collectively where it's all been repressed, it's been shoved away, it's been hidden, not addressed. That doesn't work anymore. It's just not working. We cannot hide anymore. We cannot repress emotions. We can't fake them. They're coming out. They're coming to the surface and they're bursting forth. And there's a lot, there's a lot of them. And it's a fairly overwhelming experience, but all of this is to show us the importance of continuously engaging with, honoring, expressing emotions, giving them room, giving them space to exist, to be allowed, to be witnessed, to be heard. There's a difference between having an emotional reaction, a response, an unconscious one, and attending to the emotional response as it occurs within you. Noticing from a conscious place, this is arising, this feeling, this emotion, they're actually different things. What you feel is emotion. Emotion is sort of, anyway, <laughs> the feeling of the emotion rising, right? Because you feel it, you don't think it. How do I honor this? How do I embrace this and accept this as a part of what is in this moment? Because the rejection, the resistance of what is only and always and can only ever create suffering it must be accepted. What is, is. The rejection of it is pure insanity. And when what is, in particular, includes an emotional sensation within you, that doesn't go anywhere. If you reject that, if you try to resist that, it just, it, it might seem like it dissipates. It doesn't dissipate. It lodges somewhere. In many instances, it will find other emotions of similar frequency that have also been rejected in the past and merge with those and create a larger body of pain, of unexpressed emotion, the egregore, the shadow, the pain body, whatever you want to call it. All of this stuff needs to be felt. That's it. Just felt. That's how you witness it. That's how you honor it. That's how you set it free. Just bring your attention, your awareness to it as it is arising within you and let it be there. There's no action to take. It's just being present with what is. And what is, is arising within you. I feel it. I certainly do feel it. I have been focused and continue to focus on the cultivation of presence. It's all that is truly desired. Everything is now. All of the good feeling, everything that could possibly be wanted is now and within the now and is experienced by presence. It is the oasis in the desert. I can keep wandering the desert or I can stay in the oasis and make my home here. I can dwell in the kingdom of heaven, which is now, or I can allow myself to be dragged to hell, which is anything outside of the now. See, those were never places but experiences, and both of those experiences are accessible <laughs> to us instantaneously. 
heaven is the now. It's the now because it's presence and it's the only thing that is real. It actually exists. Your actual experience is now and only ever now. It only ever can be when you recognize this consciously and you consciously choose to remain aware of now, aware of the present and engaging with it by consciousness, not by thinking, because thinking is not knowing, then you stay in peace, you stay in power, you stay in contact with all that you are, with the wholeness of yourself. You know yourself continuously, and it takes a continuous choice, it's continuous surrender. You live in the state of surrender, of non-resistance to what is as it arises, embracing the fully manifested moment, and so that includes what is arising within, and there are things arising within. Absolutely. There's awareness of ego, there's awareness of mind, and there's awareness of sensation that is occurring right now that can be felt. There's a static sensation, like a tickly tingling right underneath the ribs here almost feels like an oversensitivity, like when the skin becomes tender and oversensitive. It's that kind of sensation. And so the practice in this moment is simply to direct attention and awareness into this, the feeling of this, not rejecting, not resisting, allowing this. Doesn't need a name. It doesn't need really any description. It's just what is. So that is the practice that I am engaged with. I am interested in pulling some cards today because it feels like there's stuff happening. There's stuff rippling throughout the collective. And it's emotional stuff. It's tense. It's tension. It's anxiety. It's how many times have we reached this breaking point? How many times do we need to reach this breaking point before we actually let the break happen? <laughs> before we just let it break fully, all the way, it needs to come apart, come unglued, come crashing down. <laughs> let it fall. That is total non-attachment. That is total non-resistance. That is embracing what is, is saying, I give up. I let go completely. I have no control over this and it has fallen apart. And if that thing that has fallen apart feels like you, even better, even better. It's not you, it's the false you, it is ego. Let that fall apart. Let that feel like it's being crushed and destroyed. Allow that to happen. Witness it. Your consciousness expands tremendously in that process. You become aware there is you and there is the thing that is being crumbled into pieces. And as it crumbles, as you allow it to fall apart, you recognize you still remain. It was never you that was in threat. It was this illusory thing, this made up thing that isn't you and doesn't exist. But it convinced you to identify with it. And because of your identification, the alignment of your conscious energy with it, it felt like you. It wasn't you. It isn't you. It never is. Let that thing fall apart. If there is ever a time when you feel like you are falling apart, let that happen. Allow that to happen. Fall apart. <laughs> let the total destruction of that sense of self occur. Lean into it. Surrender to it. That is a repeated message in the energy right now. Surrender to the destruction of self because your true self cannot be destroyed. And when you allow all that is false to be removed, you see what remains. You see that your true self, your authentic essence, your being remains. And you know it. You know it clearly. <sighs> Chariot, card of the soulmate cycle, but what's going on? Is that a... Mm? 
it's trying to balance. I still don't feel like it's balanced. Yeah, no, it's not. It, it's, it is pulling two directions. It was the feeling of this chariot. Uh, it, the looks, looks like everything's good. On the surface, it's, no, I'm good. No, I'm fine. Everything is fine. We can carry on this way. I have everything I need. I'm good. Underneath, not so good. Striving for stability. But really, yeah, uh, underneath, not so good. Look at all of these. <laughs> On the surface, chariot, king of pentacles, got it all. So in control, so in control of my emotions, so in control of what's happening around me. I'm good, I'm good. The more times you have to say, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> can you hear how guarded that is? No, this is fine. We can totally carry on like this. This is exactly the path to happiness. I just, I stay this course. I, this is what I've done. I just gotta grit my teeth and dig in and pull myself up by my bootstraps and all of that kind of nonsense. It's just a bunch of nonsense. All of that shit is made up by the ego to keep you suffering. Why do I say all that? Because underneath this, we've got the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. This is someone walking away to me in their mind, in their heart. This is the focus, the thing that was missed out on. I'm building, I keep rebuilding this foundation and I really don't care for it. At the same time, I'm bored. <laughs> There's a boredom to this apathy of, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, we just go back to the way it was. This is the way it was. I'm really not happy with the way it was. And those emotions are not going to be able to be faked. It's not going to work under this energy. Again, because tower. You try to build a castle in the sand, it's going to get wiped away. The more you try to build it and say, no, it's good. This, it's going to work. We're going to make it work. I can build my castle in sand, of sand, <laughs> directly on the shoreline. I've done this a thousand times and it keeps getting washed away, but this time it's going to work. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to fucking work because it's time for something else. It's time to stop. Stop giving to the thing that hurts you. If something hurts, stop it. Is it that complicated? Is it that confusing? If it doesn't feel good, if something hurts you, if you keep sticking your hand in the meat grinder, in the tiger cage, and getting bitten, stop. <sighs> stop fucking doing that thing. <laughs> stop doing the thing you're doing that creates suffering. That's the choice that you have. You're choosing to perpetuate suffering. I'm not talking about you, viewer. This is just, this is this energy. You know what I mean? But I mean, take what resonates. There's relation to this, absolutely. I relate, I can understand this. For a long time, I chose suffering for a long time until I saw that I was doing it. But once you see that you're doing it, you can't put the blindfold back on. It doesn't work. You can't unsee it. It hurts a thousand times more. Now, now, when I find myself slipping out of the now, oh, oh, there is this dramatic impulse to go, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is where it's at. I see you, ego. I see you, mind. I see you trying to drag me out of this. I get it. I get it. You want to perpetuate yourself, but yourself is suffering. That self, that egoic identity is built on pain. It's built on separation and suffering. It creates and craves only discord, only discontent. And I see it so clearly so clearly so feeling the pull of that to where it whispers and, and tries to drag me away tries to drag consciousness away from the now it's just man no <laughs> no i'm not gonna stick my hand in the meat grinder again i did that i did it enough times enough times i'm just regrowing this it was a bloody stump for a long time <laughs> now it's regrowing because of my commitment to that, 
to feeling good now. There is no good feeling outside of now. It does not exist. It is now or never. You choose peace now or you choose peace never because that's what the mind does. It will keep you on this perpetual, well, maybe the next thing, well, maybe the next thing. Peace becomes a future idea, a concept, and never real. If it exists in the future, it's not now. And now is all that is. And you'll never reach that place. It has to be now. Peace, joy, happiness. All of that must be chosen now. Because now is the only time you can feel it. The good news is there's only more now. There is always more now. You can always make that choice now. There's never a time that you can no longer make it. But you have to make it now. <laughs> It must be a now moment choice. No more putting off my happiness. No more putting off good feeling or peace or contentment. Now, I can feel all the good feeling that I want to feel right now simply by refusing to leave the now. By accepting, witnessing as part of what is. Okay, ego, ego is. Ego is here. It's present. It's speaking. Mind is here. It's present. It's speaking. Whatever the content of that is, it is. If resistance is felt, resistance is. Okay. Resistance is present. Presence of resistance. I can accept that. Once I make it a part of what is, I bring it into actuality instead of conceptual reality. I can accept it. I make it actual. I make it part of this present moment and then I can accept it and allow it and release it. And then I'm continuing my own good feeling. It's time for something else. It is time for uh, this emotional repression is not going to work. It's not going to work anymore. It's going to bite us in the ass faster and faster. And anyone who is still engaging in that is going to feel it. That's just what it is. It's time for that shit to be over with. Yeah, it's time for that shit to be over with. I just saw the moon in here too. It's time for the sun to rise. It's time for the new day to dawn. It's time for all of that stuff that's been shoved down in there. Where'd the moon go? There it is, yeah. To come out. And the more we shove it down and try to hide it, the more sharp it is coming out, the more painful. It's like trying to hold back vomit. I mean, it's not a pretty analogy. This, it's not a pretty process. When you have repressed emotion to this degree, it comes up violently. It floods. It is six years worth of rain in two days. <laughs> That's what it is. Sprinklers just came on as it happens. So let's talk about it. Why am I here? Why am I here? Other than pure self-expression, which really is the reason. That's, that's it. It is the means and the end in itself. I'm here because this feels right. Oh, and I'm already dropping cards. Oh, okay. More cards. Why am I here? The fool, what came out? The sun and the emperor. pretty much what was just said uh there is a feeling of foolishness attached to this though as well why does that feel like some bullshit no uh, yeah there we go there's the bullshit i knew there was some fucking devil energy in here because <sighs> all right there's layers to this in one layer in the the easy layer it and this would be the easy way to read it. Oh, new beginning. Oh, we're being pushed to make a change to liberate ourselves from the short-sightedness. Yeah, that's here. Absolutely. We are being pushed to liberate ourselves from short-sightedness to share emotion. But fucking, I knew it was here. But there's some bullshit about this. That yes, that's what the energy is trying to help us do. It's trying to help us take control in the only way that we can which is making the choice to embrace now, to be vulnerable, to express openly. 
to let go of the pretense of the bullshit of the death grip, to let go of resistance to now, resistance to emotion, resistance to feeling, resistance to all of what is, to make a new decision, yeah, to, to liberate ourselves from this karmic cycle of perpetually choosing suffering, which is always a short-sighted move, absolutely, and instead being emotionally vulnerable and expressive. But there's, there's this other layer that's just the... that is tricking ourselves into thinking making the same choice is going to play out differently this time. That's, there's another level of this, I'm telling you. This is a sneaky emperor. It did not feel balanced. Sure, maybe, maybe it's split. I might pull a percentage. I don't know. We'll see how this reading goes. This is already very interesting. The energy is trying to get us to make a new decision, to relinquish suffering, to stop suffering, to see that suffering is just suffering. It is not worthwhile. It does not get you anywhere. It creates more suffering. That's all it can ever do. If you are trying to reach the end of suffering through suffering, there's no end. That's the short-sighted decision. And it will trick you that way. You must make the choice to stop perpetuating the suffering. Stop doing the things that hurt. Stop following the mind out of the present moment. Stop following the ego into defensiveness. Stop rebuilding things that have fallen apart, especially the ego. When the ego falls apart, let it fall apart. When the relationship, when the business, when whatever it is falls apart, let it. Let it. Let it go. <laughs> There's just this other sense here of this time I got it. Same, same tricks. It's the same trick. It's like we're trying the same trick again and this time it's going to work and we're so good. We're so good. Convincing ourselves. Oh, we're good. We're totally good. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Look at that. Eight of swords underneath. It is a bunch of shit. It lands you in this again. This is the self-made prison. We perpetuate the karmic cycle. We end up here. We start the whole thing over again. We suffer more. It's there to teach us, yeah, to make a fucking change. It's just gonna hurt more and more. That's the way it works. The suffering becomes more intense every time you choose it until finally, finally you choose not to suffer because it fucking hurts. Because it's suffering. It sucks. It gets worse and worse. Ego destroys its host. That's how this happens. And that's how it's all meant to be. It's a part of the plan. It gets to a breaking point because it's designed to break there. It's supposed to break there. And if it doesn't break there, the universe builds a more intense one. It just builds pressure more and more. I, I can't even. I can't even. Putting those cards back. Let's cut the deck. It builds pressure more and more until you choose to release resistance. That's it. There's the moon. Yeah. This, it has to come up. It has to come up. It has to come out. It's underneath that, that king of swords there again. Yeah. And it's... Three things will not be long hidden. The sun, which we saw, the moon, and the truth. The more you try to repress those things, the more violently they are going to spill out. The more pressure it builds, the more uncomfortable it is. And we can't ignore that anymore. We used to be able to, because we used to be able to shut the heart chakra down and pretty much just live unconsciously for the whole of existence. Not anymore. It hurts. It's acute. It's only going to become more acute. Imagine somebody pressing on a pressure point on a nerve that's the universe putting pressure on this nerve it's gonna keep pressing it's digging in there it, it'll go through the skin it it will become excruciating and intolerable because it's pushing people everyone collectively to make a decision to realize oh my god i'm doing this to myself i am continuing this suffering that is getting worse and worse by just trying to grit my teeth and, and bear it and get through it and make this same 
decision over and over. I can't take it. I have to make a different choice. I can't live with this. I can't live with this suffering anymore. I have to choose something else. That's that's when you start choosing peace. That's when you start choosing non-resistance. You make a different choice because you realize you've perpetuated all of the suffering in your experience and you have the choice to stop. But you are the only one who can make that choice and you can only make it now. It has to be made right now. The mind will tell you tomorrow, stop suffering. And it's not an action necessarily. God, the sun just popped out again. It, it's just the choice to stop resisting. And when you stop resisting, all of the action part kind of takes care of itself. If there is a direct action for you to take in that moment, it will be abundantly clear. If there isn't, and it's just complete surrender to the moment, everything will happen the way that it is intended to. Now you've released resistance to the natural flow of the universe. Everything that is meant to be moved out of your experience will move out. And everything that's meant to move in will move in. You don't have to do anything. It's just letting go. But you can only let go now because now is the only time that exists. <sighs> Putting off the choice to embrace what is, is choosing suffering, is choosing to perpetuate suffering. The choice to embrace what is, what is, is right now. You make that choice now. Done. The sun fell out. There's the choice at the bottom. I hadn't looked at the base energy. And this is crossing that fool as well. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, but it's, a, it's time for a decision. We've tried so hard not to make this decision because that's what the mind does. It tricks you into it. We've tried so hard not to make this decision, to make a new change, to choose something different, to choose happiness, to choose faith, to choose now instead of later. There is no later. There is no past. There is no future. Those things don't fucking exist. When you put your energy there, you are separating yourself from yourself and it doesn't feel good. You are subtly resisting what is. When you've projected into past or future, you can't accept what is because your consciousness isn't a, here. It's not here. This is excruciating. It's the energy is trying so hard to come to balance. Yeah, it's overwhelmed and it's coming up. This is some of that fake. Everything is good, but it's so not good. <laughs> It's so not good, and it's so gonna spank us if we perpetuate this. What's in the 3D? Look at that, the moon. It's coming up anyway. It's coming up anyway, and when it does, it does feel good. The releasing of resistance feels good, always. It, that's where all the good feeling is felt. You're just holding on to energy that wants to flow and balance. The resistance is what creates the suffering. You let it go and the suffering stops. Oh, and you feel the relief, the release of tension. You feel good. It's just let it, let it out. Just letting it out. It's coming out. It is the same. I've used this analogy so many times. It's the same as when you're trying to stop yourself from throwing up. And you just feel worse and worse. You feel more and more nauseous. You're trying to get to grapple it, to wrangle it. No, I don't want to throw up. I don't want to. I just want this to go away. Just make it stop. It's not going to stop. But the minute that you let it all come up and you lean into it, you stop resisting it. You just, bleh, bleh, you feel so much better. <laughs> you feel so much better. It's, it's trying to feel better. The energy is trying to help everybody feel better. It really is. And we're just resisting it. It's saying, just let it go. Just let it come up. Don't fight it. It's holding your hair back in the bathroom saying, it's okay, sweetie, just let it happen. <laughs> just let it happen. Stop fighting it. You will feel so much better. That's what the universe is doing. Oh, God almighty. Crude analogy, but it works quite, quite well. Um, what's red with the sun? What's in the soul? Six of cups. It's that's. 
oh, it's a lot. It's a lot of emotion. It's deep. It's deep in there. This is a deep well of emotion that is just, we've tried to repress it and it's not working. It is funneling to the surface. I, it's a geyser because it's been shoved down so deep and there's so much feeling. There is so much emotion and the soul knows. It, it wants this to flow. It wants this to express. There's no fear. There's no confusion in the soul. The soul gets it. The soul goes, yeah, let it all come up. Freely express. Express your truths. Express your emotions. Let it all happen. <sighs> Shit. And it's only because we're fighting it that it doesn't feel good. It's time to stop resisting and let it out. To make the choice to honor feeling. To accept feeling. To embrace feeling as what is. You're feeling an emotion. Whatever it is. A sensation. A physical sensation. Embrace it as a part of what is. Stop trying to move away from it. Stop trying to distract yourself by moving into the future or the past or some imagined place. Stop it. <laughs> that just perpetuates the pain. That is just more resistance. That's just more generation of suffering. The ego will tell you salvation is found over here. It tells you that because it wants to keep existing. There's no salvation over there. There's only more suffering. Ego thrives on suffering, on pain. That's what its whole identity, its whole sense of self is built on. It will lie through its teeth to convince you to follow it. And it's always trying to get you to follow it out of the now. Notice that. It's always trying to get you to follow it out of this present moment. And so when you're out of the present moment, you can't embrace it. You can't accept what is. That means you're resisting it. That means you're generating suffering. Return to presence by bringing awareness to what's happening and that it's happening now. This is happening now. Ego's trying to pull me out of now. Now. <laughs> the experience of whatever this emotion is, is now. It is happening now. Just focus there. Feel there. You don't need to think about now. Feel now. Feel the nowness of it. Feel its presence, its imminence, its immediacy. Feel that it is not in a conceptual way. It's not removed. It is. It's now. It's here. It's present. All of this wants to come up. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, we'll see in the final outcome. I think it's split. I do feel there are a lot of people still trying to hold this back. It's what it is. What's the hidden energy of the universe? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> this is all by design. It's all to help us feel better. It's all to help us let go of this. Holding all of this energy in. Holding in the emotion. Holding on to the pain. The, anything. It's toxic. It is toxic. You think that feeling the pain is something you don't want? You think it's going to hurt you? It's the opposite. Ego is telling you that. Ego's telling you, oh no, that's too scary. Pain body, essentially. Ego and pain body or shadow or collective egregore of pain, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. They operate together. They both feed on pain. They feed on, they're perpetuated by suffering. So they work together and they'll tell you, oh no, you don't want to, you don't want to feel that. Just do this. It's kind of like saying, yeah, it hurt to stick your hand in the meat grinder. So the way to, to fix that is to put it back in. It only hurt when you took it out. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, no, that's some bullshit. <sighs> and the universe is trying to reveal this to everybody. That we're choosing to perpetuate the pain. To perpetuate the suffering. And the way out of it is to stop resisting it. Suffering is created by resistance. Attachment, they're the same thing, essentially. When you stop fighting it and just let it happen, let it come up, let it be what it is, 
you embrace it, you accept it as what it is, you're no longer controlled by it. And you no longer experience the suffering. You recognize it's not actually painful. It's not actually what you thought it was. <laughs> All of that was an illusion. It was just built up. It was the boogeyman, not real. The instant that you stop resisting, you experience the release of tension and you feel better and you realize what was, the what of is, never mattered. It doesn't matter what emotion, what experience, what thought, any of it. It was your resistance to it being that created suffering, created this discontent, this discord that is felt within you. The second you release that, it feels better. And as long as you continue choosing not to release it, it's going to feel worse and worse and worse until you stop fighting. <laughs> until you stop fighting. There's, there's layers to this energy. It feels split to me. It's trying to put us on a higher path. It's trying to give us the high ground. It's trying to help us raise our awareness and our consciousness to see this all from a different perspective so that we get it. We get it. Oh, I was creating the suffering by resisting. The minute I stop resisting, which is my choice and actually the only choice I ever have, the minute I, I choose to stop resisting, it all comes up, it all gets better, I feel better, everything flows, no more confusion, no more illusion, no more big scary naked guy in the corner, just, it, it feels better. But it also feels like it's it's still gonna it's gonna keep getting worse until it gets better and it gets better when we choose to let it so until we choose to let it get better it will get worse um some of this energy some of the energy that i feel here is is still choosing to make it worse that's okay that's okay they get to make that choice eventually eventually all of us reach the point where we get sick of suffering. You have the free will to choose suffering. That's how free you are. Eventually you get tired of it and you go, no more, no more, no more suffering. I see now, I have a choice. I've been resisting it. I make a different choice. That choice is to stop resisting. That's the only choice you ever have and the only choice you ever need to make. It's, it is that simple, I promise. <laughs> stop resisting what is, which means stop following the mind out of the now, out of what is. Stop listening to ego as it tries to convince you to depart from the now. Just use everything as a portal to present. Let it all fuel your awareness your consciousness become bigger become more and more unconditional recognize that all that is simply is people things situations thoughts emotions all of these are forms and they simply are they exist place your awareness upon the presence of what is present in your now moment and focus on the truth of its being. It's being. It's only your denial of being that hurts. Acknowledge that it bees. And the more deeply you acknowledge it, the more satisfying it feels. The more relief you feel. You can turn that excruciating suffering into pleasure by the power of your perspective and your conscious deliberate surrender to what is. By your acknowledgement of being and focusing on being and staying in that place. Judgment. Judgment. It's, yeah, it's resurrection. What are we resurrecting, though? Well, okay, there's a couple things. It is also just powerful emotion coming up. This is, the, the emotions are being resurrected. They can't be pushed down. They're going to keep coming up. We try to run from the emotion, and it comes right back because it's 
it's going to keep reinserting itself into our experience. That's how it works. We're going to keep perpetuating this until we let it go, until we face it, until we acknowledge it. Whatever you resist persists. That is true of everything. If you have strong emotion that you're resisting, you keep it in there. If there's a truth that you're resisting, you keep it in there. And it gets, it gets harder and harder to bear. It needs to come out. It needs to be released. It's underneath that. Yeah. Eight of Wands. It needs to come out. And there's the Seven of Wands. That's the only way to relieve the pressure. A, a sort of step back here is to stop fighting it. Is to surrender to it. The pressure builds until we surrender to it. When we surrender to it, everything corrects itself. It takes care of itself. Yeah, it all transforms. But it's time to make that choice. This is a deeply spiritual lesson. It's a lesson that's here to make a long-lasting transformation by changing a long-term habit, a long-term behavior. At the core level, that long-term behavior is choosing suffering, continuing to choose pain instead of releasing resistance to what is, just letting it happen, letting the emotion arise, letting the sensation arise, all of it. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. Okay. Just came back. I but this time the Hierophant is underneath it. Jesus Christ, and the two pentacles underneath that. <sighs> it's, it, it can't be stopped. On one level, there's a resurrection of this false happiness. And it's gonna, it's gonna keep biting us. It's gonna keep us stuck in the same pattern by, by pretending that we're happy or that by putting off the, ha the happiness by saying it's just going to get there the the love will come the whatever will come as long as I, I keep doing this it's it's like and it's, Steve's love tarot has mentioned this it's like an arranged marriage type of feeling of like, well, you just, you do this because it's what mom and dad said. It's tradition. It's the way we've always done things. And no, I'm not happy in this connection, but it'll just, it'll grow. It'll turn into something. I just got, I just got to keep doing it. No, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> that is not how it works. And it's going to keep us perpetuating the pain unless we choose something different and the minute we choose something different oh we're liberated everything comes to balance everything makes sense everything starts to just flow from that point what's what's on top knight of cups that's encouraging a wasp just landed on me i guess it's a yellow jacket Before I say anything, what's right with that? Ace of Swords, okay, okay. Thank you, universe. The, the universe is saying, sometimes I get corrected. I get led down, you know, another path. I feel a lot of resistance in this energy. The universe is saying it's not, it's not as strong as you think. People wanna feel good. <laughs> we, we do, we all wanna feel good. There is, one way to feel good, release of resistance, that's it. And it is being brought to light. It is being comprehended, actually, that we need to express the emotions and the truths, that holding it in is what doesn't feel good. 
holding it in is is the source of the pain that repression that resistance actually just letting it out whatever happens happens that part isn't scary there's this realization we've made a big we've made a boogeyman out of the result the potential outcome the re potential rejection or whatever it is or the, the reception how people are going to react to what you say but there's an understanding there is in fact an understanding here whether or not it's actually getting through it is what the energy is trying to impart that the good feeling comes the freedom comes from speaking your truths from sharing your emotions from accepting what is from not fighting it, from not resisting, that's that's how you remain in balance. Balanced energy is what feels good to us. That's the whole key. The soul knows this. The soul is getting it, and it does seem to be getting into the brain space, or at least, again, that's the intention of the universe, is to make this point something we are consciously aware of, that, oh, when I withhold my feelings, when I reject them, that creates problems. <laughs> that creates the pain. If I just let the feelings flow, it's all good. It's all good. If I just stop resisting what is, everything takes care of itself. I stay in balance, I stay in flow. I make the only choice that I can make, which is to surrender and all is well. So it's only about the moon then. Where's the moon here? There is a profound amount of healing truth energy being infused into our atmosphere right now. That is strongly encouraging everyone to share the truth, to share emotions, to face them, to feel them, to allow and acknowledge and admit that they exist. That's very interesting. Okay, why is the moon here? The four of wands fell out, and the base is the three of wands. It's time to come up. It's time to stop looking and start doing, to take the step, to make the choice. The choice is made now, to, to get off the shoreline and into the water. To pick a new path, a path primarily that is focused on free expression, on not holding things back. Yeah, the star. Not holding back, I mean, it's, it's communication in essence in this, in letting things come up, letting it be what it is. this three of cups yeah expression communication stop thinking about the communication and let it happen and the deck just split itself on the sun that's that's where the good feeling happens there is clarity around this occurring it is being seen it is being recognized that we can't keep this in anymore that we are preventing our own growth by listening to ego High Priestess Magician, that we have the power, we have all the tools, we have the power right now to make a different choice. That choice is to stop following ego, to stop following fear, to stop choosing suffering, to stop putting off our good feeling, all of these things, and just start accepting what is and embracing what is, and then we're flowing with life. And then we're, we're flowing with and allowing everything to come to us. That is the way it's intended to work. When you live in the state of open surrender, which is the continuous conscious awareness, and awareness has acceptance packaged into it. Awareness implies acceptance. There's no resistance in pure awareness or attention. When you live in that state, you live in the state of open receptivity. You are allowing life to flow, to flow through you, to flow to you, around you, all of the things. There's no resistance and it just, it just happens. It just sweeps you along. 
you stay pretty much in balance because of your continuous acceptance of the flow. You're just, you're, you're flowing with the go. That's where the good feeling is. That's this new path that we're being set on. One way or another, we are being called to make decisions to stop resisting the natural flow of life. <laughs> to just let it come up. Okay, this is encouraging. It is. Um, there's, there's another level that I do feel that has to do with having thought that we were doing it the right way. And that's a big part of, of the challenge of facing this is we have to accept that we've been doing it the hard way we that we have been the ones creating the suffering nobody else nobody else did this to us we created all of the suffering in our own experience we have to accept we've been making that choice this whole time but it's been an unconscious choice and it is the unconsciousness of that choice and the pain that it creates that drives you to the realization of it that drives you into the blooming of consciousness, the flowering, the arising of it to the place where you go, oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't know I was doing this. Now I know, now that I know, and I only know because I didn't know. You can't know without not knowing. Now that I know I'm in this new place, I can make a new decision and it's time to make that decision. And there are people making that decision. <laughs> Okay, maybe not everybody, but everyone will get to that place. The universe is kind of reassuring here, <laughs> saying, just chill out. It's all gonna happen for everybody. Everybody is gonna make that choice because nobody wants to suffer. Nobody is choosing deliberately to suffer. They're choosing it by unawareness. They're becoming aware. There is awareness growing. And that means more people are gonna start choosing not to perpetuate the suffering, to stop resisting, to live in the state of surrender, of total non-attachment, non-resistance to what is. So tell me about the Six of Cups here. Tell me about the Six of Cups in the soul. We're all getting glimpses of what Okay, this is a weird, deep message. <laughs> and it's just a, a thread of what's here. We're getting soul glimpses? How do I phrase this? Glimpses of what it used to feel like. Not, not just in the, like, the past of this lifetime, but in the beginning. In the beginning, before everything went the way it went with Earth, which was all part of the process as well. Um, we're remembering what it was like to be in connection with the soul, to be the divine deliberate creator that was aware and in this state of non-resistance. Consciousness is kind of remembering itself and how good that felt and how good it feels to come home to it. Ooh, the devil. What's under the devil? Ooh, six of swords and that two of pentacles that wanted to show itself. It's helping us make a new choice. It's helping us see that we've been, we've been going around in circles. The reason we haven't reached the calmer waters is because we never left the choppy waters. We've just been going around in circles in the same thing, making the same choice. So of course it never changed. And we've been the ones perpetuating it. And if we want it to change, we make a different choice. That choice is to actually leave, is to actually do something else, is to actually choose the now, to choose the present. To, oh, I missed it. There's that seven of wands, actually, that was on top. To see this, this whole thing from a higher perspective, to realize, oh, I've been perpetuating the suffering by my unconsciousness by my refusal to acknowledge what I felt, what, what the content of now was. The minute you embrace what is, 
you don't uh, how do I phrase this you don't have to love it you don't have to want it <laughs> you just have to stop resisting it if you want to stop feeling the suffering and then all of the other information is collected by the universe it, it, it is that you know you taste the flavor of ice cream and maybe you're not into it you don't like it but you're not now on a war path against the existence of this ice cream you're not offended or upset that it was a part of your experience and that you tasted it. It, it you don't take it as a personal insult or an attack on you that this ice cream exists and made its way into your life experience how dare it <laughs> no you just go mm, don't care for that I, that's that's not for me but it is it is what it is i tasted it i'm here it's here okay and in that state of non-resistance and acceptance of what is that is delivered to the universe as an update to your order it's all of life experience is like a continuously curated meal right and so the universe being the chef is helping to gain an understanding of what your palate is and does that by delivering you different dishes and seeing what your response to them is but the trick the trick is if you resist that dish if you go oh no 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 how dare you deliver me this dish you're not actually you're not actually telling the universe anything other than give me more more of this i haven't reached the clarity on this yet so give it to me again you have to taste it if it shows up in front of you and you go, ah, no, no, take it away. The universe says, well, you has to be on this, this journey, this, in this analogy, culinary journey. You got to taste some things or else I don't know what to give you <laughs> or else you, you don't know what you want. You just looked at it and, and said, no, that doesn't mean anything. Try it just just try it just taste it and see and if you don't like it i'll know you don't even have to tell me <laughs> i'll know but the more that you reject that experience the more you are preventing yourself from gaining the clarity of what it is that you do want and the more you are forcing the universe to feed you the same thing over and over if you just you take one tiny bite and go the universe goes that doesn't mean anything eat it again and and show me some meaning be present with it if you're not present with it you don't know what it is you don't even know what it is you just taste it you didn't even let yourself have the experience it was just your resistance to the experience that made you go ah oh, so terrible get it away like you don't even know what you didn't like you just didn't like that it existed. You didn't like that it was there. That doesn't, that tells me nothing. That tells you nothing. There's no growth. There's no learning or expansion in that. Let the experience happen. Taste it. Let it be, ta let the fullness of the flavor hit your tongue. <laughs> All of it. You have to be there in that moment. Be present with it. Let it happen. Stop resisting it. Let the experience happen. And then if, you, you know, that that tells me everything that's all i need i don't need you to, to like it i don't need you to tell me that you liked it i don't need you to tell me how to make it <laughs> just let the experience happen taste it fully be present with it smell it savor it let it sit on your tongue feel the way that it feels and from that from your acknowledgement of this is exactly what i felt in this experience and you can only let yourself feel it fully when you're not resisting it you're not judging it you're not pushing it away number one the experience becomes not something that is painful it becomes free of suffering it's just experience it's just you tasted the dish 
you tasted the salt, you tasted the additional spices, the heat, the texture, the consistency, you know, the, the color, the smell, all of these things. You took in all of that information because you weren't resisting it. Now you don't have to tell anybody anything. You, you feel, you will feel intrinsically, internally, what things were a delight to you and what things were less than a delight to you. And that's it. And you don't reject any of it. You just let it be what it is. And by your allowance, your full presence with it and acknowledging this is what is, letting it happen, then the universe takes all of the detail, all of the vibrational detail to the nth degree of that experience. It can now receive that because of your willingness to experience it because of your lack of resistance to it and now it can update your desire now it goes okay i see how you felt maybe it was a little too salty and you didn't even consciously cognitively know it there was no this is too salty it was just mm, experience but the universe knows because it is you and it's feeling it through you oh okay this is how i i tweak this just a little bit, a little less salt, a little more cinnamon, uh, a little less chunky and a little more smooth, you know? And then, so here is an updated version that flows into your experience. And it can only flow into your experience as long as you're in a state of non-resistance and open receptivity. Because if you're still there balled up in resistance against this last dish, the universe can't take it away. It can't, and if, if you're holding on to it and going, no, I'm going to make myself like it, there's, there's all of these <laughs> versions. It's just, let your life experience be this continuously curated culinary adventure. And the way you would let that happen is by being open to whatever is placed before you, accepting it as part of your experience, engaging with it fully, being present with it, experiencing it, and then letting it go. And the magic is you don't need to tell anybody anything. The chef doesn't need your comments. The chef is you. It's, it all works together, but it's time to make a different choice. That's, that's just a, a, a piece here. Okay, two cards again, High Priestess and Three of Pentacles. I keep pulling double cards. The cat wants to come outside. Let me do that. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh gosh. Hi buddy. The soul knows how this works. The soul knows that sturdy foundations are built by the free flowing, the following of intuition, letting things come up, that we can't have new things unless we let the old things go away. And we can't have the new things that we want unless we really experience the old things for what they are. We also can't have the new things unless we are honest and open. And that's a, it's a part of the experience of... There's that King of Pentacles again. I get this really strong soul memory it is like a, it's like a past life recognition, but it's deeper than that. I, that's one level of it. It's like a recognition of ourself, of how we intended to operate. It's, it is, mm. it's like seeing yourself in the now. Um, I don't know how I can phrase that. It is like being present sensation wise, because I'm, feeling this as feeling 
and it's the feeling of presence and of recognizing yourself and all that is recognizing that all is you it's all the same self it's all being everything in its essence is the same and is you it's conscious it's consciousness that's interesting give me one more wow the world there's a big perspective shift with this wanting to do things differently deeply meaningfully this is the way we are intended to to be everything i just described that i don't even remember the whole analogy um it's like a, a realization of oh yeah that's how this works oh i remember now i i remember that's how this works that's how i intended to do this that's how i intended to experience this life experience and to create by staying in this state of surrender by embracing everything that is coming into the experience and being present with it embracing it fully because that's the only way i i get the clarity and that's the only way i feel good that is the way I feel good. That's where the balance, that's where the stability, where the good feeling is found, is in staying in this state of surrender, of just not fighting anything that is. That's really interesting. Uh, in a big way, these soulmate connections of this current cycle were designed to help us reach the place of understanding that perspective that's that's the main point again it's not about the people being together it, it is not about that it is about the expansion of consciousness and the resolution of imbalanced or karmic energy so that everybody can feel good because everybody wants to everybody deserves to and everybody can we just make the decision so tell me about the devil the fool i felt like that was going to come back it's underneath that seven pentacles yeah it's time that the energy is being aligned to help us make a new choice to help us make that truly new choice not the false new choice but the one that's based on the soul that's based on the understanding that we have gleaned from the soul. Uh, a lot of the Virgo energy right now is actually a part of that. Interesting. It's on top. Ten Pentacles. A whole new world. Life is so different when you are liberated. Your experience of life, I should say. From the outside, really, it's the same. The Zen phrase that found me, found its way into my awareness a couple of days ago, uh, that I tremendously appreciate. Before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. It's the same life experience. It's just your experience of it is different. When we are flowing openly, we're free of fear. We are liberated. There is nothing that controls us, that imprisons us right with the ten of pentacles and this freedom comes from acknowledging that we have the choice that we have the power we have the power to repress to resist or to let go to flow to be open and honest and non-attached and non-resistant that's our choice when we make that choice we realize we were never stuck we were never trapped. We were always free. We were just choosing to stay in suffering. <laughs> choosing to perpetuate the illusion of imprisonment. But we created the illusion so that we could have 
the delicious satisfaction of the experience of realizing that it's illusion. That's another <laughs> part of it too. The illusion exists so that we can consciously become liberated from it and have the joy of that. We had to separate from power to reclaim power, to have the joyful, rapturous experience of knowing our power. We had to forget it in order to know it. That's why we forgot. Nothing has gone wrong. It's all going exactly right and exactly according to plan. Oh, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll leave that there. That's very interesting. Hang on. Clarifying the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I did have a card just flip out. I didn't get very far in the shuffle. The card that flipped out is the Seven of Wands. It flipped out in reverse. So this is where things get interesting. Because this is the card that I felt that was split. <laughs> and it, it appears to be split in two directions. On one side, it's resistance, and on the other side, it's releasing resistance, essentially, the, the way that I'm perceiving it. Um, yeah. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, and that Seven Pentacles with the Hermit underneath. Two, I called it a Two of Wands, I just realized. It's Two of Swords. It is time to make a decision. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of the resistance. It's, it's time to stop standing at this crossroads, to stop planning the journey and actually take it. To take the step. The step of letting go. Choosing right now. Choosing peace. Choosing not to suffer. Choosing to express. Choosing non-attachment and non-resistance. Um, what's on top? This is very interesting. There's the Two of Wands. Yeah, there it is. It's exactly what I just said. It's time to make that choice. It's time to let this go. It's time to let go of the past. Let go of the struggle. Let go of the suffering. Realize we're not stuck. We're not trapped. That's all an illusion. We make the choice right now to do something different. Let's ride with that. Five of Pentacles. Right here with the star. I might pull a percentage. I am going to pull a percentage on this. Um, the choice to stop suffering. The choice to come in from the cold. This is a choice. This is a choice. Always. These are choices to suffer. That's what is illustrated in these cards. Which means we realize we have the ability to make a different choice. And if we don't, if we don't make a different choice, this continues, this perpetuates. We're choosing this. If we don't choose something else, we're choosing this. So it's time to choose something else. The soul is calling for it. It's, it's bleeding through, it is getting through. It's coming up again and again and again, and it'll keep coming up until we see it. That's it. It's not going to wait. The pain will increase. <laughs> what is that? I just had that. It's a jokey phrase, but the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that that applies. It just came to mind. It's time to make a different choice. It's time to realize we've been beating ourselves up, right? We've been choosing suffering. Oh, I wanted one more. There's the lesson. This is the lesson. Page of Pentacles. That goes right in the middle. The lesson is to stop fighting, is to stop resisting. The minute you stop resisting, it it all takes care of itself. It starts to feel better. All you ever have to do to feel good is to surrender, is to not resist. In fact, is to make the conscious decision to embrace, to allow. And in order to make that conscious decision, you have to be present. You can't accept what is now unless you are now. 
unless your consciousness is in the now. When you follow the mind out of the now, you are unconsciously perpetuating suffering because that's what the mind wants you to do. We've been over this. So you make the choice to stay present. As long as you are staying present, you are embracing what is. If you are just aware and present, that that is non-resistance. If you're just here, <laughs> you are attent, you are alert, you are aware. There's no resistance in that. As long as there's no resistance, you're not generating suffering. And your life experience, regardless of what it contains, flows. It flows smoothly. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what arises. It just is. It just does. And in your continued surrender, your living, dwelling in the state of surrender, of non-resistance, you experience no suffering. And you generate no suffering for yourself or anyone else. That's the big lesson in all of this. Um, I am going to pull, I don't know why, but I feel the urge to pull a percentage here and I'm going to do it with a different deck, with a third deck, with the witches, which this poor bag has seen other days, we'll not say better, all of its days are good, but um, I want to pull a percentage on how many... This is so vague and so general, and I don't know what the universe is going to give me or how relevant it's really going to be. I'm just curious. How many people are not releasing resistance? How many people under this energy... I am sort of pulling on the soulmate cycle, but this, is, this has extended quite a bit further. How many people are not choosing to release resistance? So choosing to resist, but we're, we're putting it in the negative. And at the bottom is strength. So underneath that is that five of pentacles. So yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this. How many people are not choosing to release resistance? Give it a shuffle. We will pull cards. Major arcana do not count, but they are part of the message. We start counting with minor and we end counting when we get major again. This is a tricky one. I don't know what the universe is really going to be able to do with this. I'm trying to limit it to maybe to the end of the year. Because ultimately everybody chooses to release, but how many people now <laughs> and approximately are, are not, are not. <laughs> Message at the bottom is the tower. That's fun. All right, what's on top? Ace of Pentacles. That's one. Knight of Swords. Are you, you're kidding me. <laughs> one, is that 1%? Because <laughs> there's no, yeah, it's a 1% and the, the and this is just the message out after. <laughs> Everybody. So I, I think the universe is kind of making a point here. I don't know that this really has any sort of... There's no time. There's no time and energy. And I, I don't think I actually can even limit this uh, in any conceptual time fashion it's just it's gonna get more intense it's gonna get more intense until the decision is made and more people than you think are making this decision soon uh, that's vague on purpose because this applies to in such a broad stroke way to collective. That decision to stop resisting and not suffer does not mean you're gonna be with somebody or that person is gonna come confess their, their love to you. That Sure, that's possible, anything is possible, but that's not what this is about. This is about the release of suffering. This is about the release 
of resistance, the expansion of consciousness, the balance of karmic energy, all of that. And all of that is the only thing that matters. That's where all the good feeling is found. You don't need that person to come talk to you to feel good. No, fuck that. Your lesson here is acknowledging, I don't need that. I don't need anything. I don't need anybody to do or be <laughs> any kind of way. I don't need a situation. I don't, I don't need it to feel good. My choice to feel good lies in my choice right now to stop resisting what is, to stop perpetuating the suffering and embrace the now moment, which has everything that I desire, everything that I want, all of the feeling is right here and is accessible. I can feel good now, actually good, not conceptually good. The mind will tell you, oh, but you'll feel better over here. That's a concept, it's not real. There is no good feeling over there, I promise you. That is a lie that the mind tells and the shadow tells to perpetuate suffering, to perpetuate itself, to continue building itself. It's full of shit, it is not true. All of your good feeling and your power to feel it lies right now. You access that by becoming present, by making the choice to stop leaving the now moment and start embracing it for all that it is, to acknowledge that it is. <laughs> you can accept what is, you can't accept a concept you can't accept the future, you can't cope with the future. You can always cope with now. You can always accept and embrace now, and it always feels good. It's always empowering. It puts you back in contact with presence, back in alignment with your own energy, back into balance. Balance energy feels good. That's it, that's the whole secret, that's all you need. Stop choosing suffering, stop choosing to leave the now. Start embracing what is. Everybody will at some point and more people one percent that's that's radical that is radical one percent of people will continue to struggle to learn this lesson and 99 percent are ready to stop suffering at least as far as the soulmate cycle goes again i'm not saying what that means just choosing to stop suffering that's all that matters and until, until we choose to stop suffering, it's this, over and over and over again, because that drives us to make the choice. It's pretty simple. We have the free will to suffer. Eventually, all of us get fucking tired of it. <laughs> but it's only because of the suffering and doing it unconsciously that we're driven to the point where consciousness bursts forth and says, I don't want to do that anymore. Oh my God, I've been doing it to myself. Let me stop that. That's it. That's the whole message. Um, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. I love that this went a, a different direction from what I had anticipated. I, I love being present for this, for receiving what the universe wants to say. It's not what I think or want, it's what's here, it's what is. And the open acceptance of it, reception of it, is so satisfying. That's where the good feeling is found, and it's just flowing with it, allowing it to be. <laughs> Enough said. This is the message, it resonates powerfully with me. I am delighted to this, to see this. Uh, and it harkens back to the previous reading I did out here that was, we're choosing not to suffer. Yeah, 99% are making a choice to stop suffering. That other 1%, they'll come in. <laughs> they'll come in. They will eventually come in. It's all good. It is all good. <laughs> this resonates with me. I do intend that it resonates with you, my beautiful viewer. Everything is shifting one way or another. Embrace the now. Embrace yourself. You are so worthy so worthy of feeling good and you have all the power to do that for yourself right now have a beautiful fabulous evening afternoon whatever time it is in your space <laughs> and just know that always and always through every vector of that time space and all of the dimensions above i absolutely love you take it easy <laughs>